Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be announcing the winner of the Prima Marketing Watercolor Pencil Set Spring and Fall um, that I will be giving away and I will announce that at the end of the video. Um, but I wanted to do a quick painting by request somebody asked that I do a painting with the pencils and so I thought why not use the same colors that are in the set that I'll be giving away. So today I'm going to be using these four colors, um, number 3, number 30, number 58, and number 97. So we'll be doing those. And what I'm going to be doing is a quick painting of a hydrangea flower. And I'm taking it out of this book on my Kindle. It's called 1,000 Flower Pictures for Artist Inspiration. And I can't show you the photo yet because it's still downloading, and it's downloading on 3Gs because I'm in the middle of a forest. So um, hopefully it will download. Otherwise, I have this lousy screenshot that I took off of my iPad to use. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's get started. Now I kind of do this as I go along just to get an idea of what I want to do and I wear this this sweatband on my wrist. I think I showed that in another video. I like to wear these because when I'm working, oops, when I'm working I can just dab my brush on here. I'm going to be using a water brush and this is a water brush that is different than the ones you normally see. Um, I'm trying to think who makes this. I'll have to look it up and put it in my description down below um, because the name isn't written on here. But it's very soft and it squeezes very, very nice. The other brushes I find that the tips wear down too quickly. Um, I think those are the Sakura ones. This one has a valve in it that helps prevent the release of too much water too quickly. Um, am I in frame? There we go. Um, you can see this valve here that stays in and so when I fill it I just cup water in my hand I squeeze the brush and then I let it release and suck the water in but it helps to prevent too much release of water onto your paper which is really nice okay okay so here as I'm drawing I'm putting in all the colors I need for these petals and then I'll take the water brush and I'm going to push backward the white into the red and the green so that I don't get too much color bleeding into the white um, you'll see that in just a second and with my water brush I dab dab it off on my rag or my sweatband so that I'm not transferring the wrong color into another color. So I do that in between. And the one thing I noticed with the green is that even though I'm pressing very lightly, it may not look like it here because I have it sped up, but I was pressing pretty lightly. The green tends to leave some lines behind. Now the lines are fine. Um, for some things, but in other things I really don't like it. So I, I started using a circular motion on the green to try to get rid of some of those lines. Like I was working on another one the other day. Um, it was some clematis flowers, and I was using my Derwent pencils, but I pressed very hard for the veins in each petal of the leaf so that it would leave lines behind and it works out really well. It makes them much fainter in color, which is really nice, fainter, I don't know, more faint in color. Um, but in this case, I didn't want to have any lines left behind. I wanted it to stay smooth. So I'm just moving along with this hydrangea flower and I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit because Otherwise, you'd be watching this all day. But you can get an idea of what I'm doing here. Um, some of the blooms had turned red on the flowers, and other ones, they were still green and hadn't changed color yet. So I'm trying to get them both 
in the ball of the flower. So we'll just keep moving along. I'm sorry about the odd position with my legs hanging out in the video. I'm at my cottage and I'm hanging out on my deck while I was doing this. And uh, it doesn't look real professional, but I apologize. Um, and that bandage, somebody's probably going to ask me about it. I cut my hand uh, slicing up some watermelons, so I have some stitches in my hand, but I'll be taking those out in a few days, so then I can have my hand back. And I'm just continuing on with these hydrangeas, um, and I'll be putting some leaves in shortly. It's kind of comical, but you'll see what I do. I actually recorded this on Monday, yesterday, and I will be finishing my editing and posting it along with the winner later today, Tuesday, like I had said in my previous video. So I have not picked the winner yet. I, when I go over to use the internet, then I can gather the names and do the randomized drawing. Um, I believe there are 17 or 18 of you at the last that I looked that will be enrolled. So you do have a better chance of winning. Um, so we'll see who, who gets it. I'm really excited to see who's going to win. Now, as far as this goes with the drawing, um, and I'll repeat this again at the end in case somebody fast forwards, uh, I... I'm going to announce the winner and then I will give you until Friday to claim your prize. So that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, about three and a half, four days to claim your prize. And if you do not, then I am going to select another person to be the winner. So you'll have to contact me. And I'm going to write this also in the description that the way you contact me is that when you go to my YouTube channel, there are the different um, selections at the top of the screen or just under my, my picture at the top of the channel. And one of the tags says about. If you click on about, it will say message me or email me or something like that. Click on that, leave me a message that you received, uh, that you found out that you're the winner, and leave me your address and your um, email address, and I will contact you and let you know when I've shipped the item and how long it will be for you to receive it. Um, I'm going to be mailing it from a rural area, and I, I live closer to the Detroit area, so normally when I ship things, I can get them to people in like two days, but I'm not sure from where I'm going to be mailing it um, from the little rinky-dink post office that is near where my cottage is at, so um, I'll have to keep you posted on that. But it's really exciting. I'm really excited to, to be able to have a giveaway, and I plan to do more giveaways in the future. Um, so keep stopping back, back and um, hopefully I'll be doing another one very soon. Now I'm almost done with this hydrangea flower. Near the bottom of the flower, the blooms were beginning to open wider, and I thought that was so pretty. So I'm just bringing the rest of the flower down, and then I'll be adding some leaves on and then some more hydrangea flowers. Now, as I'm making these leaves, you'll see what I do in just a minute. It's kind of funny, but um, I'm using the number 58 to start out, which is a sap green, and then I go to number 52, which, but the green is too blue. So then I use the pink that I used in the hydrangea flower, number 30, to neutralize that green and to tone it down a bit. I could have used a red, but I wanted to keep the same colors um, that I had been using in the rest of the painting in order to complement them and to not add too many other colors into the mix. I like to keep the palette small. So that's what I'm doing here and you'll see that when I wet this with the brush that it actually really tones it down well. 
you'll see a huge difference in the color. See how much it changed it? So you can mix with these colors. Even though it's a limited palette, there's still a lot of options. The one thing in this palette that I noticed is there is no blue. There's the blue-green, and then there's a gray number 119 that I used in order to try to make some shadow. And now we're nearing the end here. So this is my final painting that I finished in order to try to get rid of that turtle a little bit. <laughs> and I'll be back to announce the winner. Okay, so now we are going to do the final drawing. And um, I'm sorry I'm doing this in my car. I forgot to bring the key with me. I was out running errands and didn't bring the key to my sister's cottage, so I couldn't get in there. So I emptied the pencils. I was going to go out and do some sketching also, so I had my Prismacolor watercolor pencils with me, and I spilled one of the trays all over the floor of the car, as usual. But I put all the names in here. They're all in here. And I thought I would do the drawing right from here. I can't use a randomizer because I don't have my laptop with me. So um, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. So here we go. Drum roll. Find them here. Where are they? There they are. I don't know how many I have in my hand, though. Okay, let's see who this is. Oops. Okay. And the winner is, this paper looks horrible, and the winner is, you can see. You have until this Friday to contact me with your address and email information. You can get in touch with me, and I'll put it in the description box below, but you can get in touch with me by going to my channel page where you'll see my my big cover photo and my profile picture underneath that are like four um, little menus one of them says about click on about and then go down to message me or email me or whatever it says in order to get in touch with me leave me your information there and I will get it and then I will email you back to let you know when I've put your prize in the mail and you are the lucky winner of the Prima Marketing Spring and Fall Watercolor Pencil Collection. This is unopened, so I hope you enjoy it and um, that you get a lot of good drawing, painting time with these pencils. Now, if you can see, does not contact me by Friday, I will be drawing another winner, and that person will receive... Um, the gift so you can see I hope you're watching and that you um, contact me I'd hate for you to miss out on these but if not there is another chance for somebody else to win so everybody have a great day and I'll be doing more giveaways in the future so keep coming back and bring your friends back and um, I'll be doing a um, review on these Prima or Prisma color pencils very soon too and I will do them with a painting instead of a swatch uh, palette so or swatch chart I mean so um, everybody have a great day talk to you soon